previously on the Marseille career mode. Cutting in, Victor Andrade from range, what a goal from the youngster. Unbelievable hit from the Brazilian. Oh, lovely scoop turn from Bernard and finally we beat Kevin Trapp. Go Cabela, spinning inside, Remy Cabela, what a goal, what a finish. Rafinha, finesse shot from range, wow, what a goal Rafinha. Coming in. Bernard, still on it, finesse it, Bernard in off the post in the 89th minute. And this is how things finished in Liga this season. We barely snatched up that third place spot. Leads it off to Victor Andrade, have a shot. Oh my word, Victor Andrade with the long shot. But Alessandrini, have a shot on the half volley, what a goal from that Alessandrini. That's where the ref's gonna call it. We are Europa League champions. What is up guys, my name is Tyler and welcome to season two, episode number one of my FIFA 16 Olympic Marseille crew mode. I am very excited to get things rolling in this season because if we head over to the transfer screen for just a little bit, you can see how much money we have to spend for the beginning of this season. Before we get into the episode itself, you guys can go down to that like button and smash over 80 likes. I'm gonna go big for this episode, I usually ask for 50, but if you guys can hit 80 likes for this episode, that would be absolutely awesome and I'll be sure to get another episode of this out very, very soon. So. We're gonna start things off in the office, of course. We are in a friendly tournament. I just picked the one that gave us the most money. I'm not gonna be playing any friendlies because frankly, I do not care about friendlies at all. And I think our team's good enough to advance anyway. Gonna get rid of that, don't really care about South Africa, but we did get two players in on pre-contracts as well. We got Nordvite and Sofian Faguli, who actually has four star skills. I didn't know that because in Ultimate Team he has three star, but he has four star in career mode, so I'm very excited to get using him. Uh, player loans have expired, Musa Dembele is back to Fulham, which is fine. Definitely means we need another striker in our team, but I have a few options in mind, which I'll show you in just a second. Champions League objective is to reach the quarterfinal. Interesting. They think we have a good enough side to advance to the quarterfinal. My goal is just to advance past the group stage, which is, is that the quarterfinal? It might be. I don't know. I don't think it is, but there you go. Getting rid of that one. Domestic Cup objective is to reach a round of 16, which we can do. You already saw our season's budget, so we don't need to look at that. And for the league objective, they want us to qualify for Champions League once again. I think that we can do that. Especially considering the team that we have at our disposal. We have Bashuai up front at striker. Faguli on the left wing. I know he's a right mid slash right wing that's only in his listed positions. But he does have four star skill moves. So I'm going to use those to cut inside and then shoot on his right foot. Like a finesse shot on his right foot. I know he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, but... Our right winger has the long shot taker trait, and in this year's game, I noticed that like when you're shooting long shots, you need to shoot cross goal, and you need to have them on their stronger foot. So Andrade's right footed, he's going to shoot from the right side, and since he has the long shot taker trait, that will help him score more goals from distance. Uh, so I think that will work well on the wings. Rafinha in at center attacking mid still, Fred at one of the center mid spots, Diara at the other one. Arias at right back in. We actually got a man in on uh, loan. He was out on loan last season, but he's come back this year. Mario Lamina is going to be our backup right back slash another CDM that we can use. So I was going to buy another right back this season, but since we have him, I don't think we need to. We have Nkulu and Spiranya. Yes, Spiranya is going to be taking over the center back spot over the likes of Nordvite, who came in and uh, Rakik, who came in. I'll show you why in just a second. And then Benjamin Mendy at left back and Mandanda in goal. So we're going to look at our second team as well. This is what it looks like. I had to put Nordvite up at CDM because we don't have any other options at backup. The only other one we have is Zambo and Guisa. And I did have to put Rakik at left back because we have no other left backs besides Mendy. So you can see what we're lacking currently. We're lacking a center back, a left back, and I'd say probably a striker as well since we lost Musa Tempele from his loan deal ending. So I have a few options in mind. Let's go take a look at him. This is the list of players I'd like to bring in this season. A better starting center back in Kalidu Koulibaly. I think he'd be a great partner in crime alongside Nkulu. We have Rafa and Luka Din as backup left backs. I think Din I'd actually probably start over Mendy just because I like him a bit more in game. So I definitely think he's a top priority. On top of that, I think we need another center mid. So Etienne Capu, uh, Napolis Mendy, Alexis Blin, or Blin, as you'd say it in English, but Blin in French, whatever. Morgan Sanson, and I believe that's the only other center mid. And then a striker, we have Wissam Ben Yedder, Loic Remy. I'd use Ribri as a winger, and then use Andrade as our backup striker. Nazri, and I believe that's it. Florian Tovan as well, who did come back from uh, on loan to Marseille in January. He might end up signing there permanently, and Remy Cabela actually did sign there permanently, so I want, want to bring him back this season. So, 
Not really sure where I'm gonna go with this. I think for sure I'm gonna go in for Luca Din. Um, on top of that, I think Napolis Mendy, if not, uh, well, definitely Remy Cabela as well. So Din and Cabela, and then if not Mendy, I think we might actually try to bring back Samir Nasri. Now, I asked on Twitter who I should bring back, and the majority of people said either Ribéry or Loic Remy, but I'm thinking, and Fred kind of plays in a center mid spot, not in a CDM spot, and since we need a backup center mid, we could use Nazri there. We can't use Ribéry there, and Remy, we do need a backup striker, but Nazri might actually be what we need instead of Ribéry and Remy. So I'm going to go ahead and inquire about everyone, not inquire, scout them, send some offers through, and we'll see what we get back. Before we see some of the stuff that we got back, I did want to show you guys the players that I'm also going to try to sell this season. Fabri, Doria, Haugen, or however you pronounce his name, and Zambo and Guisa. On top of that, I also wouldn't mind getting rid of someone like Diaby, even though I do think he's a good squad rotation player, or Bernard. And the thing is, Bernard did so well last season, but for some reason, I kind of just don't like him in game. I think he's a bit too small, so I wouldn't mind getting rid of him and bringing in Nazri, for example, or Ribéry, for example, for Bernard. So I think I might try to do like a swap deal for one of those two, because I, I think they'll just be a lot better for us in the team than Bernard. I know Bernard's good. But for me, I don't know. I think he's just a bit too small, and I wish he had five-star skills once again. Otherwise, I probably would keep him. But all the other ones I'm trying to sell permanently are Doria, Haugen, Sambo, Guisa, and Fabri. Because Doria, in real life, I don't think he's even played a real game for Marseille yet. So he's definitely going to leave the club for sure. Was kind of tempted to sell Mario Lamina, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to keep him because I do like Mario Lamina, and he'll be a good backup right back slash center defensive mid for us. So now let's head over to the office and take a look at what we got back. We did get a transfer offer for Julian Fabri. From Swindon Town, my other career mode on the channel. We're gonna go ahead and accept that. They can have him if they want. It was a little bit less on the than his valuation, but it's really not gonna affect things too much. I also went in for Florian Tovan, didn't accept. Nice said that our offer was way too low. Same with Watford and also Newcastle. So I'm gonna have to go back in for them. I also had to go back in for Ribery, Remy, Nazri, and I believe uh, Luca Din as well. So I'll be doing that. Uh, Andrade wants to be playing in this game in the friendly, which we will get straight into as well. Gonna go ahead and put out my first team. It will have to change a little bit, but that's fine. Not gonna be playing any friendlies because because I really don't care. So we're gonna advance through, see if we can get a win here against Valencia. If we can, that's a very good win because Valencia is a very very good side. So let's go ahead. We're gonna skip once it hits like the 20th minute. Faguli scoring against his former team. 20th minute skip. Ah, 1-1 one, one draw. That's not good. Fred getting a red card as well. They scored after the red card. So for like the first 57 minutes of the game, we played very well. And then after we got down to 10 men, Piatti was able to capitalize in a 1-1 one, one draw. I'm actually not too disappointed about that. We got some more transfer offers to deal with. First off for Nicholas and Kulu. Now I saw a few comments last season telling me to sell him because in real life it's more than likely that he's going to leave. I believe Leon are kind of the top contenders for him right now. His contract expires at the end of the season, so could try to sell him. I actually really do like Nicholas and Kulu in game. He's always one of my favorite center back signings. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of him. They want 30,000. I could get up to 30,000 for him. His valuation is 21,000. I could get a better center back in for that. But I don't know if I want to do that. And the other offer is for Steve Mandanda from Lyon. If it was if it was Lyon going in for Nkulu, that would actually be like perfect. But I'm not selling Steve Mandanda. So I'm going to reject all offers and disallow future offers. Because he's staying at the club regardless. Fantastic keeper. Absolutely love him in this game. But Nkulu, a little bit tempted. He's 26 years of age, 82 rated. I could bring in another center back that's a bit better. Maybe bring in Kurt Zuma, a French center back. Get more French players in the team. I know that's not realistic, but it still would be a great signing nonetheless. Um, 32 mil, 31 mil. I'm going to counter offer... 33.5. That's accepted. That's perfect. We're also going to get in our first training session of the season thus far. If you guys still want to see training sessions, be sure to let me know down in the comment section, although I probably won't take it into account for a few episodes as I am recording in advance. Sorry if you could hear that. Uh, but we do get some decent results back. These are the players I'm going to be trained for now. Only Rakik until he gets to that next rating. Fred, I'd like to get a little bit better in his defensive attributes so he can be like kind of a great pairing, I guess, alongside Diara. I want them to both to be like solid, solid defenders. So I'm going to train him in that aspect. And it looks like he did okay. So for now, things are looking decent. So we got our first player sold of the season and Julian Fabri going to Swindon Town for 190,000. We get 160,000 added to our budget. It's not really going to make much of a difference anyway. But we also get our first transfer offer accepted in Luca Din. 6.5 million euros. I think that's a pretty good offer. They wanted around 9 million and was able to cut it back to 6.5. Only 500,000 more than his valuation. So it'll be four years, 70,000. 
maybe try to get him on a squad rotation roll and see if he likes that. We'll go 10% clean sheet bonus and we'll see if he accepts this deal because I would really love him at left back. We also get another transfer offer accepted for Etienne Capu. I offered 4 million straight up and they declined it so I offered Doria as well and they did like that deal. So if we get him in, it would be another great center defensive mid that we could use as a backup. He's a crucial first teamer for Watford though so it might be a little bit hard to get him on a squad rotation roll. Uh, he did want 90,000 as well. That's a pretty hefty wage increase for him. We'll go 5% bonus per goal as well and see if he accepts that. And on top of that, we also got a counter offer for Nicholas and Kulu. Now I am kind of tempted to sell him because I think we can get a better center back for a little bit cheaper. Like Koulibaly isn't much worse than Nkulu and to be pretty cheap. So I think we're going to try to go in for him. Offered 33,000 last time. So let's go in between their offer and the offer I countered. Go 31,500, 31,000, 31 million 500,000 and see if they accept that. It is now time for our next friendly in the friendly tournament against Wolfsburg. If we can get a win here again, that would be huge because we're coming up against very good sides. We did concede early though. We're going to skip once it's the 25th minute skip. We lost 2-0, not a great result. And Nisa rejected our offer for Nampolis Mendy, so instead of going for him, I'm definitely gonna try to sign Etienne Capu. I'm perfectly happy with doing that. They are interested in our offer for Nazari. They want 48 million euros in Newcastle. Looks like they're not budging on Florian Tovan either. And now, once again, for another training session, trying to get Rakik up to that 76 ratings. Getting closer and closer. Andrade as well, I wanna train on his crossing, cause for a winger, he has some pretty awful crossings. 81 rated, but if we can get that crossing up a bit more, he could be very, very high rated, so I'm pretty happy with that. Two more transfer offers accepted. First off for Remy Capella, I tried so hard just to get him with straight cash, but they wanted 33.5 million euros for him, so I eventually just had to offer Bernard like I was for Ribéry or Nazri. Newcastle actually wanted Bernard, the other teams didn't, so we could finally bring back Remy Capella. We do lose Bernard, but only 5 million plus Bernard I don't think is that bad of a deal for Remy Capella. He's going to be a great, great player for us. I absolutely loved him last season. So we'll see if we can bring back similar results for us here. And then I believe I saw a contract offer accepted. Yes, we did for Luka Din. He did like that squad rotation role. That's interesting to me. But he does bring a hefty wage. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good signing. We desperately needed a left back and he's perfect. And it's now time for our final friendly of the group stage in the tournament. Seeing if we can get a win against Seska Moscow or CSKA Moscow. However you want to see their name. I'd love to get a win here. Going to skip in the 34th. Faguli going to get a goal for us. Skip. 2-0 the final score, we get a win against them, it might be enough to push us on into the knockout stages, I think it might be, oh, doesn't look like it, um, tournament prize money, we get 2 million, that's pretty nice, uh, transfer offer accepted for Sam here, Nazri, 32 million, I don't think I'm going to spend that, uh, he wanted a bigger squad roll, of course Etienne Capu wanted a bigger squad roll, I knew he would, I'm going to offer one without a squad roll, seeing if he, to see if he accepts it, because I'm not going to give him an important first team or a crucial first team, because he won't be, and they did accept 31.5 million for Nicholas and Kulu. Remy Cabela declined his contract offer because he feels he's a top player as current club and doesn't think this move suits him. We're gonna have to pay some big money for Remy Cabela. I really don't want to. This is frustrating, man. Why do they always want more money? Like, could you just say I want more money instead of saying you're a top player? Like, come on. Let's be real, real here. Newcastle don't want you. So just please stick with us. Looks like we're not getting Ribery or Remy. I mean, Nazri was the only offer I ever had accepted. So we're gonna try to get Remy, I guess, maybe 25 mil. We are getting that Nkulu offer through as well. So we could possibly afford him. Not gonna go in for Ribery anymore. He's just too expensive. I will try one more time and go like, I don't know, 30, we'll go 35 and we'll get rid of Lamina and see if that's accepted, but he's just too expensive. And Nicholas Nkulu is gone to Aston Villa of all teams for 27 million euros. That gives us a little bit of spending room and Nasri does not want to come to Marseille. A bit unfortunate, don't want to spend a lot on him. We'll go 180. Again, I don't think I'm even going to be getting him here, but if, we, if he accepts it, I'll think about it. But even then, I'm not sure I want to bring him in. Uh, we'll have to look at some center backs as well, but we're going to get another training session in beforehand. It looks like Rakik might finally get up to that 76 rating this time. Does he? No, because he didn't get a good enough rating in El Rondo. Finally, a transfer offer is accepted for Etienne Capu. We're losing a center back in Doria, but I feel like that's realistic to get rid of him because he's definitely not going to be playing for Marseille, and it doesn't really take off too much off our budget. So we get a pretty decent backup center defensive mid. He didn't ask for a squad roll either, so things are going to be fine there. Now for our center back problem since we lost Doria as well as Nkulu these are the players I'm going to look at replacing him with. Kurt Zuma first off 20 million isn't much 
Mangala 17.5 is even better, Jilabochi 12 million is even better, and Matia Nastasic 25 million, but I think he's the one I want the most. Jilabochi I think is the most realistic, but Nastasic I just love, and it'd be kind of cool to have two former Manchester City center backs pairing up once again for Marseille in Rakik and Nastasic. So I'm going to try to get all of them, see which ones I get accepted, and I'll catch up with you guys there. But for the time being, I also want to show you guys our new signings, of course. So first off, Luka Din, who I'm actually going to be starting over Benjamin Mendy for now, just because I do prefer him. Very well-rounded stats. He'll do the job just fine. High medium work rates is left-footed. Long throw trait as well. You guys can see some of the stats right here. 81 slide tackle, 78 stand tackle. Very, very good player. And our other signing was, of course, uh, where is he? Etienne Caput, 77 rated. Again, very well-rounded. Nice tackling stats as well. 79 slide tackling, 80 stand tackling. 92 stamina is going to be huge as well. Can play center back. Didn't even know that. Can play center back. So we'll have him as a center back option as well as Nordvite. Two CDMs that can play center back. Nordvite, I kind of consider more of a center back than Kapu. So we'll probably just chuck him into the starting 11 right now. Have these two as our starting uh, center backs. He's left footed, so he'll play there. He's right footed, so he'll play there. But there's our starting 11 for now. Uh, we'll see what else we can get back. And here we go. Lots of stuff back. Transfer offer accepted for Ribéry. 35 million euros. That's actually as much as we sent in for Samir Nazri. Uh, Cabela, once again, not accepting his contract offer. So we might actually not be able to bring him in this season, even though it is realistic because he did sign for them permanently. I wish they did, like, future fees for you. Like, you could sign... No, not you. Like... Computers could sign players for future fees. So like in game if a player is on loan and they have a future fee You can choose whether to accept that or not, but they don't do that unfortunately Otherwise, we would have Cabela for fairly cheap <sighs> He didn't accept 150 last time. So we're gonna have to go to 170,000 I'm gonna go crucial first team player. Please just accept this man We really want you at the club if not We're gonna have to go for someone like Nasri or Cabela or even Loic Remy. He accepted as well 25 million that's cheaper than both Nasri and uh, Ribéry so we might bring him into the club, actually, as a backup striker, because we do need one. I haven't gotten anything back for these guys yet, so I'm going to go in for these guys, as we can get some contract offers accepted. And once again, Samir Nasri does not want to come to the club, so I think we're going to go ahead and stop going in for him. I think he'd be a great signing, but sorry, he's not coming in. I think I'm going to try to go for Remy. And finally, lots of stuff back. This is where we're going to end the episode off as well, because I feel like I've been going on for way too long. I'm sorry if this episode's like 30 minutes long. It's what it feels like right now. Uh, we did get a lot of stuff back. So transfer offer accepted. Jilaboji, 9 million. That's a pretty good deal. They wanted 12 million, so I think 9 million is pretty good. Uh, they did they want 17.5 from Angola. They want 21 for Kulabali, who's actually not French anymore. He's playing for Senegal, but still, I think would be a good signing. Ribéry accepted his contract offer. Remy declines, and Cabela accepted. So I'm kind of at a dilemma here. Ribéry accepted for 35 million, 160,000. Could sign him. And then sign a center back. Or we could sign Cabela. Oh my god, he doesn't take off much. He actually does not take off much. We might be able to afford a center back, Ribéry, and Cabela. Because he doesn't take off much because, of course, Bernard is in the swap. So we're definitely accepting Cabela. Because I do want to bring him back to the club. And I know a lot of you guys want to see him back as well. Ribéry. Like, we accept him. We'll have enough for a center back. Like, Jilaboji, perfect. We could probably sign Jilaboji and another one of those center backs as well. Possibly. I don't think so, actually. But Jilaboji will be perfect as a replacement for Nkulu. I'm torn. I'm actually really torn. Do I accept Reba Re or do I accept Loic Remy? Because they would both just be perfect. I'm going to go back in for Remy once again. 140,000. Two years. Going to send him a crucial first team player. Maybe play him in a formation alongside... Um, Batshuayi. But for now, this is where we're going to end off the episode. going to leave you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger to decide what I should do in this series. Jilaboji, going to go in for him. Reba Reed, do I accept him? Do I accept Remy? Have lots of money left. Don't know what I'm going to do, but you guys will find out in the next episode. So if you did enjoy, again, 80 likes is the goal for this episode. And other than that, guys, I've been T-Ray Update or Tyler. I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, bro.